In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do giveaways in Nightbot. My name is Tree, and I extremely support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time, on twitch.tv slash Tree. So to set up a giveaway on Nightbot, what we do is we go to nightbot.tv. Go to the top right and click on login. Log in with your Twitch or with your YouTube. Then what we want to make sure is that Nightbot is on our channel. Do that by clicking on join channel. What we need to do now is type slash Nightbot in our chat. So what we can do is just copy this slash mod Nightbot, close. We can go to our chat by just going to our profile. For me, that's twitch.tv slash tree. For you, that's twitch.tv slash your own name. And then click on chat. And then right here in the bottom right, we just paste slash mod nightbot or type it ourselves and press the enter key and it says that it will be granted. Or if you've already done it, it says that it's already a moderator, but that's also fine. Let's go back to nightbot. Here on the left side, we see something called the giveaways. We click on that. This is our dashboard to set up giveaways. There are multiple ways of doing giveaways. But first, let's say who can enter your giveaway? Who is allowed to enter? So here we have mods, regulars, subscribers, and users. Users is just literally everybody. Subscribers are the people that subscribe to your Twitch. I believe for YouTube, this is the members. Then here we have regulars. Uh, regulars, you can set yourself. Those are people that watch you often. I just like to have my giveaways for everybody. So normally I take this on. And then we have everybody being eligible for your giveaways. But if you want to do subscriber only one, you obviously want to like take this off. So now it's a subscriber only giveaway. So I'm just gonna leave them all on. And then here we have the type of giveaway. So what we can do is active users. So now if people start typing in the chat, so this is our chat and people start typing in it, they will appear in here. This means that they will automatically be in your giveaway. They will get this dot like you see here in front of their name in this list and you will see, oh, this person is already in the giveaway. You can get people out of the giveaway by seeing the names here and dots in front of them. You can untick those dots and then they will be not in the giveaway. We can also set one on keyword. So let's click on that. Now, instead of just picking anybody who talks in your chat, it will only pick people that say this word. So for example, if you do the word giveaway, I can't type, <laughs> never, I can never type. But giveaway. So now if somebody says the word giveaway in your chat, they will be in the giveaway. You can still manually get them out of the giveaway if you want to. Okay, so for this last one with the random number, now we have a random number between 0 and 100. You can set these numbers to whatever you want. And um, I did go in with my other account to make sure that um, this user is in. So people get in by just typing the chat like they do by active user. And now when I click on roll it, uh, we get the number 80. So now it says the giveaway has started to win enter the number between 0 and 100. So this, this is 80 right now. So if I go back to my other account and I type 80, boom, uh, I should get it right. Because, you know, that's the number, winning number 80. I'm not sure why it's not picking up the 80 because it says winning number 80. And if somebody would guess it, they would be able to win. And I did guess it, obviously, because I knew what the number was, because I can see it. But it's not working. So I'm not sure about how this works and why, like, I'm not sure why this is not working. If you guys know, if you guys have any idea why this is not working, leave it down in the comments below, please, for me. But I would definitely recommend going for active user or keyword anyway, so... It's a lot more fair than going for a number. It's like, the chance... I feel like it's more fair to do a keyword or an active user. So if you go to one of these, the active user or the keyword, it doesn't really matter. With the keyword, you only have this extra bar here with the keyword that you don't have with the active user. Uh, so here with the keyword, you can set subscriber look. So right now, if we put it all the way to the right, we can have subscribers have 10 times more luck, which basically means that their name is in the poll 10 times more than somebody without being a subscriber. We can also set it all the way to the left and then they just have as much luck as another person. Regular luck, same there. Uh, if you assign people to be a regular, you can give them more luck like you do with the subscribers. And then at the end we have anti-spam that's automatically 
um, there just because we don't want people to spend the whole time and just get in multiple times. It's just people get in once, right? And the keyword is obviously the keyword that they need to type if you're going for the keyword type of giveaway. So for example, right now we've got the two bots in, just, you know, you're gonna see, and if you roll it, one of them is gonna win. Um, that's my that's my account, my Dutch account, and they won now. And you will see that in the chat, and you will see it here in the dashboard as well. And if they're gonna type, so now we see a timer, and you can say, oh, somebody needs to react in three minutes. So for example, if we type now, hey, and we go back to our dashboard, we will see that we typed hey within 15 seconds. So you can see how long it took them to react on this as well. So we can see how fast you reacted for if you want a timer on this. So that's it. That's how you set up a giveaway with Nightbot. I've got a lot more videos about Nightbot where I explain as many things about it as I can. So just hop into this playlist with me and I will see you there.